it's a great honour, uh, it really is. Um, just overwhelmed with emotion when the email came through, first of all with the nomination and then when that was accepted and, and formalised, it was uh, it was something that we all aspire to and, and dream of achieving, so it was fantastic when that was finally, finally confirmed. Uh, I think especially with the quality of officials that we've got in this country as well, it adds a little bit of um, something to it because many of my colleagues could go and do exactly the same same job so I'm, I'm privileged to have been selected and um, and had that nomination accepted so no thrilled with uh, with the nomination and really uh, excited to, to see what the next chapter brings but yeah what it's uh, where it's come from I think uh, I started refereeing at uh, 14 uh, like many of my colleagues and 36 now, so the best part of 22 years has got in to get into this stage. There's a lot of effort, um, a lot of sort of soul searching and looking into how you can be better and what you can do differently in order to achieve the next the next goal and, and belief as well that you can do it. Um, believing in yourself and your own abilities that if you carry on working hard, you will get there. So this is your fourth season as assistant referee in the Premier League after being promoted during the pandemic. Uh, how has it felt to be officiating at some of the biggest stadiums and attendances in the country? Yeah, um, as you say, I was promoted in the in the pandemic, and my first game, uh, development game, was at St James's Park, and it was and it was empty. So going back to St James's Park with over fifty thousand in is a very different feel to to that first time I did so. Um, yeah, it's it's brilliant. I think everyone said it uh, during the pandemic and, and and afterwards as well. But it's fantastic to have fans back in the stadium. Um, something about the English game with with fans being on, on top of you and the atmosphere that it creates so it's been it's been great um, really fortunate with the, the the role that we've got to go to some of the best stadiums uh, in in the world uh, and some of the best atmospheres so it's, it's been fantastic and obviously this season has seen a marked change in football with the introduction of the participant behavior charter how have you found it as an assistant referee yeah I mean it's like anything we've, we've changed at first you're a little bit um, apprehensive of, of how it will be received, but I think generally football's accepted uh, this in, in the right spirit. Uh, players have certainly accepted it in the right spirit and are keen to work with us. Um, the same with, with management, I think the expectations have been set. Um, and what's really important is this is a joint effort to make the game better. Um, so football, players, coaches, spectators, and us all want the same thing, which is for the game to be played in the right way, in the right spirit. Um, and everyone's bought into it. So, yeah, those uh, early uh, concerns about how it would be accepted very quickly uh, evaporated when, um, when the games got going and everyone started to understand where we are and, and what we're doing and what the charter means. Uh, so overall, a really positive impact on the game. And then finally, what are your goals for the rest of this season and beyond? Yeah, so I think... Um, Obviously, there's the added dimension for myself now of, of what the international list looks like. So um, I want to establish myself as, a, a, as an international assistant referee over the next couple of years. Um, you know, I've got goals and aspirations to, to hopefully represent English match officials at the, at the highest levels uh, internationally. So that's something that I've got to strive towards, towards doing. Uh, and domestically as well, you know, I'm, I'm coming up now to uh, my 100th game, so I'm looking forward to hopefully... Um, getting that game under my belt uh, soon and, uh, and just carrying on with um, the end of season running which is going to be tough at, at both ends of the table hopefully uh, you know some positive contributions uh, to the uh, to the domestic game as well